We want to go out to Pacifica, California, where a 35-year-old surfer bit by a shark over the weekend on Saturday. He is now recovering. To bring us that full story, we have Fox 2's Emma Goss. Uh, Emma, what's new today? Daytona, about two miles south of where we are in Pacifica State Beach, Gray Whale Cove. That's where this man was swimming in the water on Saturday and he was not the only one swimming there about he saw a great white shark and they were both looking for the same crabs. He shared video uh, minutes before the encounter. 38 year old Nemanja Spasejevich went swimming alone Saturday morning at Pacifica's Gray Whale Cove, but about 200 meters from shore, he felt something touch his leg and realized he wasn't alone after all. Kind of like a mosquito bite with a little bit of a push. And then I kind of wrapped my legs around and then I could see like kind of face to face like the shark, you know, like the nose and the two eyes. He dropped the two Dungeness crabs he was holding on to and frantically swam away as cold water rushed through his torn wetsuit. At that point, like I could see like a lot of blood actually in the sleeve of the wetsuit. And I was like, okay, like, this is not good. Once on shore, he used his rubber diving belt as a makeshift tourniquet to reduce the bleeding from his upper thigh. A fisherman heard his calls for help and called 911. One of the veins were, was cut, and it's maybe size of like a pinky or half of the pinky. He was rushed into surgery at San Francisco General Hospital and left hours later, grateful to be walking. I think I'm probably the luckiest guy in the world, you know, like gets hit by a great fight and walked out of the hospital the same day. On Monday, when Pacifica beaches reopened after a 48-hour closure, news of the great white shark attracted some visitors. And I've seen pictures of this beach and I've never been to this beach before, so that's why we're here. And worried others. Scary because, you know, I like go a little bit in inside, not too far, but scary. The founder of Shark Stewards, a Bay Area nonprofit, said he believed this could potentially be a baby great white shark based on its estimated size of six to eight feet. He said they don't eat mammals and they prefer to eat fish or in this case, potentially crabs, Daytona. Very, very interesting story. Happy to see that it was just that bite on his leg right now. Um, give us a little more idea about that beach behind you, though. Is this a very active beach? Who kind of swims on it on a day to day basis? Thanks, Daytona. This beach has very cold waters. It's not friendly for little kids swimming about, and they don't come here. It's primarily for surfers and people who can acclimate to these very, very cold temperatures and rough waves. Daytona? With it being 4th of July coming up this weekend, though, I'm sure they're still wanting uh, people to be coming out and visiting after the pandemic and whatnot. It's going to be open throughout the weekend, or are they going to close down again? They only closed for 48 hours as a precaution after the shark sighting, uh, but they reopened today and there's no sense that they would close uh, for the 4th of July. They, they encourage visitors. Okay, Fox 2's Emma Goss reporting for us live out of Pacifica, California. We appreciate you and uh, obviously stay safe out there. Thanks.